Chris, why am I so far to the side? Why are you sat centre of the camera? Why is it so dark in here? Right, let's get started then. We're going to talk about Leeds. Retro games they have. Yeah. Good dear. To be had by Hall. Over here since the last one, like we said many a time, at that... <laughs> at the event. Event, yeah. What was it? Was it January or February last year when we went? I can't even remember. Honestly, the last like same... I think it might be in February, you know. 8th of February rings a bell for some reason. Or was that this one? No, this one was the 1st of February. Was it? I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember. It was a, it was a couple of weeks ago yeah. now, and it's all been a blur. Absolutely fantastic day, though. I, I think I said to um, Tilty when we were walking around, saying about like days like that, it is just a day off from everything. You know what I mean? So, like, normally on a Saturday or Sunday, you have your weekend off or whatever. Or even if you have like a whole off with the wife and the band, when you go in there, it is all for you. You know what I mean? You go there. boring, is but it is just a day off from everything. You just get to switch off from the world and just time for yourself, isn't it? I mean, it you, is, know, yeah. you talk to people about the same interests as you. You have a couple of drinks with your mates, and it's this an experience, a, isn't it? It's yeah, an, it's an outing. It's with, it's a day off in every sense of the word. You know what I mean? And it is just literally switch off and just enjoy yourself. Go I, out, I love them. Hang out with some mates. Look yeah. at some stuff that only you interested in. It's not like going shopping with a family where you get one shop that you want to go oh, to. Oh, yeah. And then all the rest's clothes shops and Or you go and jobs around the house, you know what I mean? Yeah, or... yeah. It's, it is just, um, yeah, like you said, it's a it's a day off and it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I it love that. Like, yeah. Even just like having a good bit of conversation with all the sellers and everything like that. It's, I think that... a lot of people don't just like, Assume the sellers aren't normal people. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, to be fair, of course, when we say we go and meet, talk and meet with our mates, I mean, don't get us wrong, there's all the TNT lads, Tootie was there, Dancer was there, yeah, I'm going to forget the people now, Rob was there, Tootie's mate, I'm going to forget someone now, well. But anyway, that's all I'm going to start naming. But we already have. <laughs> <laughs> I won't start naming after I've just said all them people. <laughs> but Lewis Wishwash. Don't forget the main man. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not even going to tell you his name. He just kicked off last time you forgot to mention him. Oh, Mort. Mort was there. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it's not just them. It's also the sellers. They're actually our friends as well. So we enjoy meeting with them just as much as like other YouTubers and stuff like that. And like you say, when we've got there, like you say, oh dear, you see now we'll behind the scenes video, hopefully. If not, go and watch it. It'll be in the description. It's a lot more entertainment in this video. Yeah. <laughs> But literally when we got there, the first thing we did was just go and have a quick chat with everyone. Caught up with Chris, caught up with Lee. I think I hung outside yeah. of Chris's store for most of the day, to be yeah. honest. I had a good bit of crap with him. Every time we got split up, that's where we went back to find you and you're always there, you know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah. I was trying to batter him down for one of yeah. my pickups, like to be fair, but it worked. Because kind Steve of. Smith who runs it, he's a, a good friend of ours now and I sent the class as a friend now and just get to hang out and talk to these people. You know what I mean? It's... It was a cracking day, like. Spot on. Mm. And then some of the people who went just didn't leave the bar. <laughs> yeah. Apart from when they went to find a restaurant and ended up eating that Subway instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no names mentioned, Ross. Oh, yeah, I want a... Oh, he said to me, oh, I want a proper steak. I want a proper steak. Like, give them the... Kept the, going on about steaks all day, didn't he? Yeah. Get a steak. I want a steak. I so I was giving them the, the, the menu for where we're in the Marriott. No, it's a bit expensive. I want a steak. So I, I actually went on, I found them, uh, Weatherspoons, two minutes walk. So they decided to go to Weatherspoons and they disappeared and come back later. Why well, was it nice? I got a subway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Weatherspoons was Bishop. Was Bishop? Ah, was Weatherspoons was too busy at dinner yeah. time. Plus, you need to save space Indeed. for his KFC in the train station when he was sat in his fat seat. <laughs> in jokes. In jokes, you won't get it. Chris might put a picture up of Russ on his fat seat. I don't know if I've got it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find that. I was looking for it. It was amazing. Anyway, uh, did you pick much up, like, Chris? I don't, I don't know how much you got. I can't remember. A few bits and pieces. It was funny as out, like, because all, all the way there, Chris was like, I'm winding down on my collection. I'm going to sell this. I'm selling that. I don't. I, whatever I don't want, I'm going to sell up. And then he walked around and he's like, I want to buy everything. Oh. 
It was amazing. Well, I, I had money, but I, I like I took. I'm not spending any money. I'm not spending any of this. I've got all this. I'm not going to spend any. Yeah. Because you, you always take money at these things. I took like my money I had. I, I took money to I, these things. No, but I mean like you always take your reserve money as well in case of something special. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So you, you always have to go with money. But I was like, kind of, I'm not going to spend it. No, I've just got it on this. And obviously, it, it's been like a year since I've been to like a proper market, which is what we were saying. And you forget how good it is when you're walking around and earrings is kind of like. I, I I think I lost a bit of my collection, like of wanting to buy stuff from my collection and going back to Esri kindled it all. I mean, I went down, I, my whole SNES collection was gone, wasn't it? I had my whole SNES collection in a bag and I took it with us to get rid of. Mm -hmm. I've come back now and I've. You've I, put it all back on the Well, not all of it. I've put the ones that I want to keep now, which is like the, my days ones, my Super Pangs, Smash TV, and Donkey Kongs, and Mario World, and Cat. And I'm selling the other ones. But and all the ones behind what you can see right there. <laughs> yeah. You just named the three levels that you can see. <laughs> yes. And all the rest. <laughs> but it's but it has rekindled me and I like I, I want a bit more now. And I mean my N sixty four games I was gonna get rid of all them. Wait, four, which I have. But I wanna buy more of them now and it is it's rekindled me collection passion. I'm even thinking of getting a new system now and all that again. Oh god. Yeah. It's been researching a new system. I have that is never gonna play like the rest of them. I might, well, I'll play each one once. I mean, I'm, I'm going to become one of them collector schnobs. Schnob? A schnob. A collector schnob. schnob. What's what? a collector schnob, Chris? Please enlighten me. Why, well, it's one of those people that's kind of... Are you English, Gav? Yes. Do you, you, and you collect English games? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, I do. You're one of those weirdos who collect English games? Yes. I'm going to start collecting Japanese Saturn games. Saturn, eh? Oh, yes. Japanese. Why? Because I'm a gamer snob. <laughs> uh, I would have thought, to be fair, the one who collects the American would be more of a snob. Because you can read the text. And I would assume they would cost more than the Japanese. Japanese is always mm. cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. Well, to be fair, I've been looking a lot into Japanese Saturn. And it's mainly for shooters and fighting games. Basic Capcom fighting games. All the Marvel A Capcoms, the Street Fighters, stuff like that. They, do, they look amazing. They're pretty much perfect arcade parts, all the fighting games. Um, and I think, you know what it is, it's Russ, what Scott is wanting this, because he's been getting himself a sit-down cab, and he's been playing some shooters. And I've always fancied a cab. I've always said to you, I've always said to you, I wouldn't mind too. Cojones is set up, I thought that was fantastic, when he had one in the tape mode and one in the fighting mode. But this room, you never get nothing in here. You can fit a in there. <laughs> So I think the next best thing for me would be to try and get them on console and I think the best option is the Sega Saturn because that has, when you look into it, has the best collection of fighters and shooters. You say console, will you? I know, console. It's it's console. It's not console. I say like console yourself, do You I? do, yeah. You're weird as out like. <laughs> I don't want to say it even more now because I know it gets on you. I try to <laughs> emphasise it more now. I was actually I was talking to someone about it last week. Put it on the comments, please. <laughs> Don't stop put, saying console. Console. No, you, <laughs> but con, anyway, console. So. You put emphasis on the soul part. <laughs> You're weirdo. Console. Anyway, sorry, go on. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go down that route because they are all... And a lot of the games are shooters you don't need, really need to know language for. You know what I mean? Just, as long as you can figure How would you follow the, the story then? That's what I'm saying. There's no story in shooters really, is yeah, there? there is, man. Of course there is. So who's the evil invading alien? <laughs> yeah, but I think that's the way to go. Cause I need, I'm not going to get a Japanese sat name. I'm going to get a UK one and just get a National Ray Play Plus. Cause I could have had one off. Um, Kev offered his. He's got a Jap Japanese sat name. He offered us it for free, but I'd have had to get the the fuels and all that. A lot more research I've done anyway. Gav, lean over, pick that cable, plug it into my phone. Before we lose oh, power. God. I brought it in. You got twenty percent, man. That was there was not ten. This is amateur hour here or what? We are the retro heads. We are, aren't we? <sighs> Nicely inserted. It would help if it was turned on <laughs> at the plug line. Can you turn the plug on, please, Gav? Oh Jesus! Your phone didn't bing. Ah, oh, it'll be all right, man. What are you doing? I don't know, I'm just making sure that's... It's alright man. Pushed in probably. Right. Yeah, so anyway... Console yourself. To stop all the waffling, what we've just done... 
how would I sell a tongue like that? This yeah, is a pickle video. It's where really he kindled me passion. Right, yes. For yes. buying. Yeah. Because he saw a Japanese game at the market. It was, yeah. That's that. Oh, no, we don't need to go into the story. No, it's because oh, I, I seen, no, God. it was like fate, man, right? Because I seen. <laughs> it wasn't fate, it was just in your head. <laughs> I seen Fantasy Zone on, on the Japanese Saturn. And I thought, oh, man, why the Saturn? Japanese Saturn, I'd buy that. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> As you do. Yeah. No, but I thought the box looked cool. And then How much should it cost, like, Chris? About 20 quid, I think. And you'd have bought it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on, then. Carry on. And then, about a couple of days later, Rockstar Runner Rob in the TNT group is on about selling his Japanese satin. And I'm kind of like, oh, all this satin talk. You know what I mean? So I ended up researching it. Oh, this satin talk. <laughs> as far as I was aware, he just put a post on the TNT group saying, I'm thinking about selling. And that is that is it. There was no other talk, Chris. In your head, you might have been having no. conversations saying, hmm, Saturn games. If I had a Saturn, I would buy that Saturn. Did you not miss the whole bit where they said, I've seen a Saturn game at the gamer market? Yeah. That's not talk. That's just you <laughs> seeing it. The talk must have been in your head between head one and head two. Listen, you don't know right how my head works. You don't know how my head works. I know better than most, Chris, and it's a dark, scary place. It is. It's consumed by satins at the moment. Oh, God. Anyway, back to the market, Gov. Right, all this satin talk. Oh, go on, anyway. Now, nah, it's pickups. Yeah, we're done now. Did we... you get Fantasy Zone pickup? I did not know. Oh, you could have got it and that would have spurred you on. Right, let's start. I'll, I'll start, start at the beginning. Yeah. Were these all the same purchase? Ah, I've got no idea. Yeah, yeah them two, no. Yeah, they were. And the book. Kids book. Yeah. It's an adult kids book. Kids book. What it was, this was from Sawfoners, from Lee. Um, and I think you were looking at this and you handed it over. It said, oh, have you seen this, Chris? I wasn't looking at it as in I wanted to buy it. No, you looked at it in the thought of I thought it was a Cunningham book, to be fair. Like, it was like, and it's oh, basically... It's one of dot to dot? It's an adventure book, but in, like, Legend of Zelda style. It's one of those ones where it's kind of like... There, if you think Zelda should go deeper into the swamp, turn to page 53. If you think Zelda should follow the path, turn to page 62. And you should, like, follow the pages. It's an adventure story you that you yet? control. No, not yet. Um, and obviously you have different outcomes and stuff like that. So uh, you, you've seen the behind the scenes footage of this one, but actually buying this. So, um, you know, go carry I've about. got a go carry about, yeah, it was just the one that was on the top. I have to write my stuff down so I remember how much I paid for stuff. And I'm in the middle of showing my pickups, Gavin. You get I your, know, but you're boring. You get your rusty carrier bag out. <laughs> go on then, carry on. Take me, yeah? You got a Zelda kids book, right? And I've also got Pandemonium on the PS1. Good game. And Air Combat on the PS1. Not a good game. Awesome games. Um, I don't realise that has bad news so written on the front. I'm a bit upset about that. <laughs> you're such a snob over here. <laughs> one pound games, aren't you? It wasn't more than one pound. That was a kind of bit, no? Was it? Yeah. How much was it? Can't remember now. So you should write them down. I'll write my stuff down like this. Yeah, that's my list. You're such a price snob, aren't you? Oh, I paid this for my games. I like, I like I don't, people know. Yeah, but I don't care about price. How much did you pay for it all? Like? I can't remember. It's in the video, but that, as long as it's added to my collection, so I care. I don't care what I pay, Gav. I, I think telling people how much you pay for your stuff is all part of the fun. Yeah, but now if they... People watch, always like to know what you... By watching this one video, they can get everything to know from you. From mine, if you go back and watch our last video... You'll find out how much I paid for all this. Chris, you've called, already seen this. That's called marketing. Go marketing, is it? All right. Right, that was my first pickup. What about you, Gav? Uh, I, I saw the, the boss man, Steve, first. And I got a couple of things. I, hold that. I got that. I can't remember what the thing I got. was I I I'm going to get you to sleep. I'll take it all out now. No, I'm going to put it on oh, there. I've told you to put it on there. <laughs> it shakes the camera. Oh, you look at that. Professional. Yeah, totally professional. Well, it's it's not worse than actually putting the... That's got sticky on that. Go on, shake the camera again. Yeah. Well done. Is this shaking the camera really bad? Yeah. No, it's not. Our last no, video I watched it. No, it's not. Christmas videos. No, it's not. 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 It's not.
<laughs> because just edit the shaking this out. Is that any better? <laughs> this is weird or I got these two off. You farted? No. I stinks that like Chris. I didn't fart. You have like. I haven't like. What have you done? I've done nothing. <laughs> you have like. I haven't. They're probably stressing you out me is like anxiety sweat or something. <laughs> <laughs> Your sweat smells like fart Chris. I hate to tell you this but it does. Uh, right. I saw Steve. Mm -hmm. Crack a bloke. And he had a couple of decent stuff amongst all of his usual tat he just generally has a box full of like everything for two pounds no it was actually quite i know decent. he was a bit organized bought some stuff it, like, more show you later. he was organized at the start and then i think he just kept pulling more and more boxes of stuff out yeah towards the end he was trying his best to hoard off a, a printer wasn't <laughs> a printer, it i can't remember what computer I'm like for. this the steve we know <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway i got um Sim City for the Super NES. I've been after it for ages. Funny thing is, I have it on loose cart, and I think I played up, I played out on it. You know, I sat and just caned it for probably like a month, two months, something like that. Just sat and caned it, and now I've got it how I wanted it. When I was looking all over for it, I might not even have to play it. I've I swapped the cart over, so all my saves is on this version. But yeah, it's just how it works, isn't it? It's a nice condition and everything as well. <clears throat> See that? And uh, he also had this, which is a Retro Spect 32. It's a little handheld for, I don't know, what do you call it? Like. Game Boy Advance games. No, all sorts of games. You can get Super NES and everything on it. Yeah, but well it's mainly for, like, it's it? aimed at game, JBA games. Is it? Mm -hmm. I never knew. It's Flash. Oh, yeah, it says JBA format on the back, mm. Um, Just, like, a little handheld. Put all your stuff on a SD card. All your... What, what do you call it? Not copies, doubles, isn't it? Backups. All your backups... On a flash drive, SD card, and then you're good to go. You can play it on on the go. To be fair, I got that for my daughter, like, but I haven't put any games on an SD card yet because I can't find it. It's somewhere in the house. I think I've got like a two gig one or something in the house somewhere. I just can't find it. So yeah, I'm gonna put these. On there. That wasn't shaky at all. That was nicely gently placed. <laughs> what did you get, Chris? You know what? That was all from Steve. Sorry, it was uh, SimCity was seventeen pound and the uh, Retro Spect was twelve pound. And I gave him twenty five for them both. Fifteen and ten. Worked out that took it off each. All right. My next pick up was the Legend of Zelda Handbook. Now this one wasn't on the last video, you didn't see, this is when I was off on my own. Um, and it's basically a handbook for the first three Zelda games. That looks like, um, if what do you call them, uh, the completionist. Jared. Do the thumb, uh, thumbnail. <laughs> it looks like he's got a big hard beard on him, doesn't it? If the completionist read this book, that's that will be <laughs> the intro. <laughs> Yeah, but obviously it's like it, it reads backwards in the like manga style, Japanese style, isn't yeah. it? Um, but it's pretty cool because it's a bit strange, though, because it's got like you can't see that, you know, Chris. I know, but a link to the past in full color. Mhm. Mm then it jumps. Yeah, it's even got like some cool artwork with the maps that link to the past. It's just a, a guidebook for a link to the past, Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda Two. But then, like, halfway through, even, like, the past one just suddenly turns into black and white. Yeah, that's actually where it turns, then the rest is in black and white. They must have run out of money. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty cool because it's even got, like, the manga, like, the intro to Into the Past in comic book form, you know what I mean? Like, in the manga style, which is pretty cool. Which basically all it does is tells you up to the point where you get the sanctuary in Link to the Past, and once the game actually officially starts a prologue kind of thing. But obviously it's just a cool little, a cool little guy book with all the games in. Just the artwork and it's 
Well, really? the artwork's all that you can yeah. really look at, isn't it? Because it's all Wait, in Japanese. I don't know, because the thing is, you can even... What, not, not there is, like, the dungeon in one of the Zelda 2 games, and you can work out there where the elevators are, so it would actually help you playing Zelda 2, you know what I mean? No. Yeah, you've played Zelda 2 before, haven't you? Yeah, I've finished it, yeah. Yeah, there's the dungeon, there's the lift. You know what I mean? There's actually... You could use it, like. It would not help me in the slightest. But the art in it is fantastic as well. Yeah, you know what? We'll make that art even better, Chris. What a bit of colour? Yeah, it was all in colour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that was... Um, it is kind of cool, like, but it just stupid how it turns to black and white. If you, if you could read, it would probably be in the yeah. book why it's turned to black and white from that point on. I think I did the, the thing where... Um, I think I... I think it was up for, was up for, I think it was either up for 15 or up for 10. I would have, no, it was up for 15 and I seen the guy and I said... 15 oh. quid for that? Yeah. Jesus. And um, I says, will you take 10 for it? He's like, no, no, I can't do it. Because this is when we're in early, doing a bit of filming. So the event hasn't even started yet, I can't do it for 10. I says, okay to me, and I just walked off. <laughs> um, I, I, I can maybe do it for, for 13. I says, to be honest, mate, I, got, I think I've got like 11, 11 pound change in my pocket. I says, it's all I can do. Ah, oh, you're okay, no okay. So it's kind of like, yeah. I think he's still got the better deal. 13 quid for that. I think I paid 11 for it, man. 11 quid for that, yeah. I'm sorry. I, was, I thought 10 was just like, probably retail price. Yeah, it's not like a big hefty hardback or nothing like yeah, that, you know. It's cool, but though, isn't it? Oh, it's, yeah. It was but... released in 92, it's getting on that, you know what I mean? It's um. Not even all in colour. Really good nick, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. again, no Gav. It's not about the price, is it? It's about no, if you're happy my with enjoyment the price, out of it. It's about my enjoyment out of it. If you're happy with the price, Chris, that's all yes. that matters. All right, your next pick up. Oh, God, uh, what did I get next? Ah, oh, this was from there. Uh, I've just put corner guys, because I don't know who they were. Apparently, they got quite a few of them. Like, oh, yeah. the guys in the corner. The corner guys. Who you were... Uh, strung along and then said well, I don't want it anymore I'll show them these pickups where like well, well, after you have no like you it's just, this, it's just this one it was uh, this was before the opened as well actually oh did you see that camera right there that was bad that like wasn't it eh? <laughs> you're going to be editing this one <laughs> I'll probably make this video now I won't upload it you've got to nah. I'm spending my time doing this I don't care I'll not put anything else on there. Would that make you happy? No. I'll put it on the shelf behind us. Nothing can make me happy now. Oh, God. Bart's Nightmare. Oh. Super nice. It's a uh, nice condition again. I don't know how much it goes for. I normally, wait sometimes, I research how much. I'm happy now. I can get them. Why? I don't know. I just shouldn't feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mood swings. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sometimes I research CVX while I'm there. Sometimes it's when I get home and I'm like, did I pay too much for that? I don't know. But yeah, 25 quid, um, I think. 25 is what they were wanting. They wouldn't take 20, so I had £3 in my pocket and they took 23 This is his suggestion. I think 25 was a good price for it, even though. But I, I just can't help myself. I've got to try to haggle money down. Oh, yeah, man. Well, that's all part of the experience. You've got to, always. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, complete. I'm not going to open it up, I'm sure, yeah. You'll have to take my word for it. Even a pound is a good haggle, you know what I mean? Whatever. Well, it's all part of the charm, isn't it? It's all part of the fun. Uh, yeah, that was before it opened, and then Chris's story happens... It was at the end of the day, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much at the end of the day. I did, I did want to tell you, like, subtly, <laughs> but you were just, like, right in that guy's pocket or something. Yeah, much, Wait, I was looking through, and I seen um, Croc on the PlayStation 1. I did tell you this beforehand, actually, that yeah. I had it, and you could, yeah, go on. And he was wondering, like, they were free, all the PS1 games are £3 each, and um, Croc for £3, it's a, it's a good, really good price, you know what I mean? And um, so... And I thought, three on each, I thought, I'll just, I might try two for a five, you know what I mean? So I looked for another game, and it was, um, Theme Park. Roller coaster. No, anyway, no, it's no, theme no it was Theme Park. Because yeah. I picked Theme Park up, and I said to him, I says, oh, it's a couple there. I says, um, 
Can I pick the best box? So anyway, I picked one theme park up and actually had Tyco Ball Crush inside. That's what it was because I see it's all one of them's in the wrong box. So anyway, I picked two up and um, and I said to him, I says, Oh, what do you do? Two for a fiver. No, no, I can't do that. I says, Oh, go on, man. I says, No, I've been saying all day. He says, And they go, I've been having a bit crack there because we've been chatting for like five minutes before. And it goes, Seems I've had a good conversation. Go on, I'll do two for a fiver. I was just about to get my money out and Gav's like, Chris, I've got crop at home, like. Um, you can have it. You can have it if you want, because I don't. I, you know, I mean, if got you want crop it, too as well, you yeah. can have that. Yeah, I'll give you. I'm like, all oh, right, really. I don't want it. I, I don't want it, mate. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, all oh, right. He was wounded. Like, and, and he, he still had fame parked in his hand, right? <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want them both, because I was only getting fame parked to try and knock it down the fire, so I'd get both. And he was, honestly, I felt awful because he was probably gutted, like. So he like, lost both sales. Uh, so I, didn't, I did say to you, if he buys that, you can have them. Yeah. And you just ignored it and like, oh, I'm getting these anyway. So I just put them both back. Yeah. But I think it was good because I said, oh, I don't want crap now. He's like, I think you just thought, oh, I'm still going to get Fame Park. But no, I only picked Fame Park up to do two for a fiver. So Gav brought more, so I've got Croc 1 and I did Croc feel, 2. I did feel guilty. I had to make collection. Sorry, sorry for him, like. But I gave him 23 quid yeah. earlier on, so it's all right. Yeah, so basically I classed these and we pick up some of the market. Croc 1 and Croc 2 to add to the collection, which is awesome. Yeah, man, four new PS1 games out of the collection. You haven't bought a PS1 game in forever, have you? No, and then four come along at once. Yeah, mm. uh, right. And my last pickup, it was in two parts, but they're all from the same oh, guy, so I'll just put them all together. I've still got some more. Oh, you still got some more. Little bits of... Tat. Tat. Well, it is all it is. It's not me being nasty, it just is really. Oh, it? yeah. Uh this game here, it's a one that I've been after for since I probably started, and I have seen it, and it was a, it was a five or a ten at most, you know, when we first started, and I was always just buying something else at the time, so I never picked it up, and it's only if you go and see yeah, X, it's like twenty five quid in mint, but they never have any. There's only like box copies of it in. Um, it's one from childhood. That's why I've been after it so badly. And uh, Chris had it. 65 quid. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, nah. He knocked it down to 40 straight away. Like, and I was like, no, it's not even worth that, man. And I got before, I was like, look, 25 mint from CX. He says, aye, but do they have any in? I'm like, well, no. <laughs> I'll just order it from there if he did. So, um, long story short, I I. I think it took nearly all day to do this deal. Like, oh, God, it? I... This, it, was on, this was ongoing I, I saw all it on the morning, and I went round the full market, probably twice, yeah. looking for this game, and I just could not find it anywhere. And it's uh, it's Burai Fighter on the Nintendo. I mean, it is crisp. There's no game in there, actually. It's in me Nintendo at the moment. It's a lot harder than I remember it. I, I completed that I on, so. when I was a I've never actually looked at this box. The box art's awesome, I love it, mate. Please sticker on the top. Oh, that is nice, that like. Isn't it? Uh, he went to eBay and was like, "Oh, well, the last there's only one sold, and it went for sixty five. And I'm like, "Yeah, who uses eBay to price up these days?" Uh, anyway, so apart from one little corner there, it's, yeah, it's pretty much mint condition. That's oh, lovely. He had that, nice, like. and I was looking through his DS, he has, he has a lot of nice DS games there, like the all, he has a lot of the same game as well, like he must have just got a m list of most desirable DS games and PS2 and stuff like that, and he's just been stocking up on them. Um, but he had, he had like four copies of this or something, I went through them all and checked them all, and this was the nicest one, it's uh, Mega Man ZX. Or Z. ZX, that's the specy version. Yeah, ZX Spectrum. Oh, complete. I'll open that one up for you. I'll treat you. I'll treat you. Uh, now, that is normally 35 on CEX, and that is 25 on CEX. What did I pay? He had them up for 65 and 25. And I gave him 55 for them both. So, I think I paid. 30 for Burai Fighter and 25 for Mega Man. Yeah. Which I can live with. That That's, for me, that's a good price. I mean, 25, I could wear all year and a mint copy wouldn't come in CEX. 
and there were a few buy nows on eBay for around about the 50 mark. A lot of foreign ones in there, but 30 quid, yeah, I'm happy with that. I, 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 was, I was happy to pay that. I mean, I think he, he did well to hold out for as long as he did because that was like yeah. <laughs> probably like, two hours from closing like, or something when he finally caved on that. The best part of that was you'd pay 25 and uh, early on the day, Chris had like, it was oh. good because someone had bought, how much was the game worth? Over 200. I think it was like over 200 pound a game and someone had bought it for 10 pounds. <laughs> It was a PS2 game. It was a PS2 game. See, I don't know if that is worth 200. Yeah. I've never even heard of it before, you know. But it, uh, it could be. And I think what it was, it, I don't think it was... It, things happen, you know what I mean? It, it, it's his yeah. game himself. I think what it was annoying was, he said, because the lad had bought a haggle from £12 down to 10 and even no knew what it was yeah. worth. <laughs> but the best thing was, like, we were about this later, and, like... Um, we were saying, like, would you... As I said, would would you want to know if you've got something too cheap? Yeah. And he said, yeah. And I said, well, that normally goes for 35. Yeah, so that's 35. I'd say, yeah, because I was going for 25. He's <laughs> like, get out. Get out now. I'll just tell you. I said, I can't. Yeah. But he, just, just a little jokey gesture. Yeah. Just get out. That's it. I've had enough now. <laughs> the but, thing is, though, that's where he got it from. I can yeah. guarantee that is where he got that yeah. four copies from. But he just said to us, I'll never sell it for 35. Yeah. Because he, he, he doesn't pay 20, uh, 35 pound for it. He gets his ways. Mm. Pays yeah. it with vouchers, basically, you know, and, and he hasn't paid one for one on them voucher pounds, you know. So, yeah, got them two off him for 55, which is lovely. Another one for the Mega Man collection. I almost put it on yeah, there. It did, my face, uh, I, 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 I my face. My face. Oh, me, oh, oh, yeah, it went red hot on the side there for some reason. Uh, and... I had another, I had another look round. Nothing else really. There was a, there was some nice stuff there, but I just went back to Chris again, and I got these two. This one I've been after for a long time. Yeah, good game. Trying to find it in a nice condition for a decent price as well is a nightmare. Yeah. Like, well, I think it's because it's a good game. Everyone had it kind of thing, so it's it yeah. been kind of like. I'm currently halfway yeah. through it, and I only had one session on it, but. I need to get back on it. Like I, I, I took it. It's a uh, Mario Land Two. I was playing it on the Super Super Nintendo. So I got halfway through, and one night I took it out of the Game Boy Player and put it in the, my Game Boy Advance to take upstairs and play in bed. But I ended up just messing about on my phone instead, and it's been up there since. And I keep seeing it on the shelf. On I need to get that out of there because yeah. I'm not going to play it. You know. So anyway, yeah, I got that. The box that one. Oh, no. That was up nostalgic to nostalgic th feelings. That was up thirty, and he's got a this guy here too, which I have been after for quite a while as well. Um, first one I really enjoyed. It's like a, a grid based RPG, tactical RPG. Uh, yeah, that up for 22, and I think I paid 45 for them both, which was pretty much what I had left. And I just said, Look, I've got 45, would you do them two for it? And mm, a bit of um, rah, and <laughs> after, yeah, go on then, like champion. I thought it should have been 52, I think it was, and it was like seven quid off for them two. So, yeah, I'm happy with that as well. Uh, you were saying like PS2 is coming into its own big style now, and I was, I was like, what? Because the PS5 is supposed to be backwards compatible, and he's like, no, it's just the age of all the PS2 collectors. The yeah, oh, at they, that they, point now, and I said, didn't that happen with PS1? And he says, oh, PS1 still going strong now. Yeah, it's like I'm not that overly fond of the PS1 to be honest. There's some good games on it, but oh, a little bit. I can kind of see the NES. It's starting to die down a bit now on this. Well, when the Nintendo and Super Nintendo Minis came out, yeah, it just destroyed that market. I think, like, and I loved it because I, I still buy for them. You know, I loved it that it did because it meant I could get all these games for. Wait, the thing is, pretty much half the price now. It'll stop new collectors coming into the market as well because. 
these people are just going by SNES Mini and have them all in there. Instead of like thinking, oh, I'll go get and emulation. Yeah, I'll go and get it like, oh, I remember that game. Get a Super Nintendo and get a couple of games and fall back in love with them and start collecting. They'll just get a SNES Mini ball for them or they'll buy one and that's that's it done there, not one, one purchase. Yeah. It is like. Mm. But I, I don't know. I'm happy that they did it. Yeah. No. Not bothered if they release a Nintendo 64 Mini. I don't have any love for that system at all, like, just totally passed us by. Same for the Saturn. What are you? <laughs> nice. Cause I all, I can, all I can hear is... <laughs> you know. <laughs> right then, and my last pickups. These are off Steve. I've seen them at the beginning of the market, and I thought, I've got any money left, I'll go and pick them up. Went through his uh, tat. Yeah. His box of tats. And one is a Legend of Zelda Breath Wild coin. Yeah, it's a nice little case. Uh, oh, it's, a nice little, it's a nice little, little coin, actually. I think that was a fiver. And then there was this awesome link made out of Lego. Uh, but the thing was, I asked, I says, oh, I'll take a Lego and I'll take a... I'll take a Lego. And I'll take a... Yeah, you thought it was one of a kind, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't think it was one of a kind. I thought it was maybe only had one. So, um so tails. Steve's missus, tails never fails. No, it's heads. I'm so assuming the eyes, the head. So Steve's missus went in the back, in a bag, and like, she goes, oh, was it Link you wanted, or was it Zelda? I was like, oh, I didn't know you had Zelda. I didn't. She goes, oh, yeah. I goes, well, I have to have them both now, don't I? So I had to get a Zelda as well. So I got a Zelda and a Link. And um, a coin. And a coin. How much the coin cost you? That was a fiver. <laughs> and these were £3 each. I'd rather have £5 north, so... Three pound each for a Lego figure. Custom Lego. That's cheap compared to normal Lego figures. Is it? Right? Like I can't say Lego would be go crazy for figures. Man. I know Lego cost a fortune, but I didn't think the figures themselves were that expensive. I don't know which I want to show if you find an old bag of Lego or a booty and sell the figures and make a fortune. Really? And uh, but the coin's pretty cool. Well, it's actually quite a heavy, sturdy coin, isn't it? A heavy, no. sturdy coin. Do you just put them on there? That shaky cam, man. Oh. You can't go off it on me now, like, <laughs> now that you've done that. You put three yeah. things on there, Chris. Right then, Gav, overall feelings of Fantastic. the event. Fantastic, loved it. Was it £2 to get in? Yes, £2 in Amazing for price. a day of fun. Um, like you say, the thing is, there's all sorts of... Uh, I've heard some people twisted about price, not whatever. A £2, I mean, man, £2. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, you can haggle that off your yeah, first purchase. Exactly. And the, pound, and the thing is, you had arcades there from arcade clubs, you had a computer room set up. Even if you don't go in the market, right, you could spend £2 and go and sit and play on computers, on big screens, because you had a big projector set up. What kind of computers? Consoles. It, consoles, <laughs> right. You had a Mega consoles. Drive Mini set up on a projector. He had mm. four play game, game cubes set up in that. Um, some guitar here on the go, I think, and he had some arcade, some actual arcade club down the bottom. So two pound alone just to go and play on those, it hey, have been worth the money. It's like two pound for what four hours or something like yeah. that you could spend in there. It, two pound each. I mean, the if you go to one of these uh, play expos, it's fifteen pound a day. Oh yeah, nothing. I, I think that is expensive. Like how many stalls off the top of your head would you say there were? Twenty, maybe it's more. No, there'd be more than twenty a day, see. But that's a conservative guess, just off. Yeah, but even if there's twenty, you've got to spend at least five minutes each stall to make it worth your while. Have a look at it, to probably look at the stall. Yeah. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. There's fifty. But there's a couple of hours there, just like worked out, just each stall. You know what I mean? And everyone has two looks round, even if you spend less. So you're easy on it, like two to three hours just on the stalls, and you can spend a couple of hours playing the game. It's like. So even there, conservatively five hours for two pound entry. Awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, two two I, uh, two pound man is it's for now, is it? Yeah. I was expect the first time we went. I mean, it's quite a few years ago. I was expecting probably a fiver, you know, something like that. But I, it's kind of like two pounds that cheap. It might as well be free entry, yeah. you know. Yeah, and like you said there, though, you get that back on. I mean, every purchase I did, I've probably got £2 back on. You know what I mean? I so. dare say, on average, 
you get about a fiver off anything you get. Yeah. If I, you ask. I mean, you don't I, even have to ask for money off. I said to Chris, I was I was mid conversation with Chris, right? I couldn't believe it because I said to him after, like afterwards, and he says, "Oh, it happens all the time." I was mid conversation with Chris talking about someone, and someone just went, "Oh, can I have that, please?" And it was um, Legend of Zelda Four Swords on the GameCube, and literally Chris goes, "Oh yeah, give him the game." The guy just give him the money and walked off, and it was I think it was up like maybe sixty pound or something like that. And like, uh, as he was walking off, he looked inside. Yeah, didn't and, he? and he walked off there and looked and I says, "That guy just asked you for that," and like it didn't even haggle, look in the game or nothing. He says, "Yeah, yeah." He says, <laughs> "Like as if as if me and Gaff wished they were trying to haggle." Like, oh yeah, it's what people do. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, <laughs> they don't. He's like, yeah, and he says, um, but he says it's even worse like down London markets. Yeah. He says it happens all the time down there. Anything but, to get out of talking to someone yeah. down London in this. But no haggle or nothing. Shit, you can have that. Yeah, picked it up and walked off. And he didn't actually start looking in the case. I heard him open it as he was walked away. And I thought, you, you need to check the, the instructions. You need to check the disc before you make a purchase for like that. Yeah. No haggle either. And I couldn't believe it. Unless you know Chris. Because <laughs> he he doesn't have stuff without instructions these days. Yeah. Like he, he phased it out about... Yeah, and a half ago or something like I'm that. I'm loving the market yeah. nowadays how they have stickers on as well, don't you? Complete with instructions yeah. and stuff like that. Because it's nothing worse than opening a, a plastic. Yeah, you see the price and it's like, oh, that's a good price for that. And then it's no instructions. Yeah. Well, that's why then. You take out the plastic card case and you open a box up and you look inside and it's not there and you have to put it all back in. You're filling around for 10 minutes. <laughs> no, but it was absolutely fantastic event. Again, it's. I want to go to the mall again now this year. Yeah. Because it's just. I tell you what no, I like. I, I like it when, whenever we, because our haggle sessions with Chris tend to last like half an hour or something like that, and he does make sales while we there talking, <laughs> and like every now and then somebody will over here our conversation and say, "All right, you're not money off there, yeah?" <laughs> and he just looks at us and says, "We all do." Yeah. The amount of people we've saved money on, just random strangers while we talking away, trying By to get money off them. Very loud, say, like, Chris is, oh, how are you acting off 20% off straight away off Chris's price? Aye. It's because it always acts to someone overheard saying, oh, yeah, 20% what, cut, off? cut some kind of deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to money, everyone, man, you always just joke about the prices, don't you? Well, I don't even ask for money, oh. I just say, what's the best you can do on that yeah. these days? And they'll. It's not cheeky, I don't think. What's the best you can do on that? It's just. Can you knock anything off? If yeah. you don't ask, you don't get, do you? Yeah, but I did a cheat one of It was in the video. Well, I don't know if you caught the beginning bit of it. I cringe whenever you ask for stuff off, Chris, because it's always like, I've got these ten games for five pound. Will you knock three pound off them, please? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, spend some money and then ask for the money off. No, I don't spend a bit of money. Yeah, but it's always like a pound each item or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but you don't knock money off the book and I forgot about it, so he knocked like two quid off the book already. He didn't have a price on that book, that was the number that came into his head. And then I knocked money off the already knocked off price, wasn't I? <laughs> so I bundled it in. Well, that's what I did with Chris with that Bureau yeah. Fighter, he knocked it down to 40 straight away, and I was like, nah, <laughs> give us that for 30. Yeah. But anyway, we digress. Yes, and again, it was a fantastic day, good made up for everyone, good crack all around. and. Plenty of other tubers there, actually, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a lot more than I thought was going to turn up, actually. Mm. First one of the year, the first one of the year is always big because, like, people just, like, there's nothing over the Christmas holidays, is there? Or, no. And you might get a bit of money for Christmas. Or you might just have got your first paycheck in February. So it's like, I want to spend some moolah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, wrap it up, Chris. Yes, that is it. Um, thank you all for watching. I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.